we are rolling. What's up, YouTube? How are we doing? I'm currently headed to the gym. I'm gonna hit a little shoulder and calves today. So I figured I'd take you guys with me. I'm gonna start taking you guys through like my workouts. Try to maybe like daily or just multiple times a week. Typically this would be my leg day. I used to hit legs on this day because I was doing legs twice a week. But I felt like legs twice a week was just too much. I wasn't really getting sore like I needed to. I couldn't go as intense today as I wanted to. So, uh, yeah, we just switched it to calves only and then a little bit of shoulders. Also, my phone's on this new like magnetic thing that I got put on. It's, it's kind of dope. You just put like a magnet in the back of your phone and then you just ride up on that thing. And I'll tell you what, I've been going to sleep earlier than usual, get back on the schedule and it feels great. Not up to like three in the morning anymore, going to sleep around like 10 something getting up around 8 to 10. I mean, also, I like having my long hair. Like, I like it. Don't get me wrong. But I'm not a huge fan of how much maintenance it takes. And it just gets annoying sometimes. Like, right now, it's a little bit hot. I wanted the windows down, but I just took forever to do it. So if I take the windows down, it's just going to mess it up. You know what I mean? My phone just keeps slowly drifting away. There we go. Bro, I forgot my water. I'm a dumbass. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm hoping it's in the back and I just can't see it, but I'm pretty sure I forgot my big jug of water. And that's an L because I've been drinking a lot of water recently. Hop back on the trend, I mean creatine, fuck. Now hop back on creatine like, yo, what the fuck? What? This dude just got over right in front of me. Like just right in front of me. About, to, about just rear-ended that dude. Probably because there's a hillbilly riding a moped with its blinkers on. Um, I don't really know what that's about. That's crazy. Um, yeah, I don't even know what I was saying. I only have my water. I don't even care about my water anymore. I almost just fucking died. Damn driving and all of a sudden just that dude doof right in front of me like yo I have a dude. damn i don't know if you guys listen to that new olivia rodrigo album but that shit is nice nice i'm a big fan of the other one the first one and this one oh my goodness dude it's just it hits the soul. Definitely lived up to the expectations. I know what you're thinking, Caden. Olivia Rodrigo. Yes, Olivia Rodrigo. She goes hard, hard in the paint. So if you haven't listened to it, go give it a listen because it knows how to just hit the soul. Oh, a little Pigerton right there. Hands are up. Oh, Pre workout starting to kick in. Itches. I love it. I live kind of far away from the gym, so every day, like, I take my pre crap. Dang, bro, I can't talk. Pre workout a couple minutes, like, before I leave, and then it's already like another 10, 12 minute drive over there. So, like, on the drive there, it just slowly kicks in and it feels nice. Ugh. I love the gym. Yeah, I just, I love it, you know? Highlight of the day, I just wake up, get ready. Go straight to the gym. It's just ah, peak vibes. Peak vibes. Ugh. My neck need pop. I need to go to the chiropractor again. I went not too long ago. Got my neck readjusted. Because I woke up and I couldn't like look over my shoulder. It was weird. Oh, dude, for the first time in a while, that shit happened to me the other day. Where, like, you know, you're just jamming in some tunes, you're with people, and then all of a sudden they turn it off, like, right at the wrong spot, and you're just like, yeah. Yeah, that, oh, that happened to me. I was at this little little get together. It was like Friday night. And, you know, they're, they're playing some tunes, and I'm, I'm jamming out, you know, I'm having a good time. And then next thing I know, it just cuts off, and I'm like, yeah. And I mean, I'm like the only one that did that. Like no one else was like singing along. 
So that was kind of embarrassing, but now it is what it is. Can't do nothing about it now. But I just think it's always funny when that happens. Alrighty, y'all, we're about to be at the gym, so I'll catch you guys in there. Alrighty, we're in the gym. I'm gonna get warmed up real quick. I'm gonna get right into these shoulders. I don't take super long to warm up, typically. I just like to do a little something, make sure I'm loose, get the blood flowing. Always stretch out the legs just because they're typically pretty tight. A couple of Michael Phelps's. All right. First exercise I'm going to start off with is the shoulder presses. I didn't really use the shoulder press too much, but I feel like my front delts were starting to lag a little bit. So we're going to be doing some of those. Alrighty, start off with the 50s. That's what I've been doing. Let's see how those are feeling. Oh, pretty good. I don't know if you noticed, but I never come like fully down. I never touch the bottom of my shoulders to make sure I have constant tension the whole time. And now I try to just do them really slow and controlled, like every movement. But yeah, can bump them up to the 60s. I hope that it wasn't rattling, or my mic wasn't rattling the past little bit. Whenever I put it on my chain, it kind of rattles, especially if I put it down below. It just sounds kind of bad. But I switched it up so. Hopefully, it sounds all right. Keeps touching my neck though. <sighs> it catch my breath. Probably give it like 30 more seconds before we get back into it. I'm kind of glad because it's not super busy right now. The past, well, I mean, typically almost every day it's packed in here, especially if you come a little bit later. It's pretty packed, but. All right. Let's see what the 60s are feeling like. We managed eight, which I think is what I've been getting around every time. So let's get at least we didn't go down. And we've been going down in weight, so at least the weights are staying the same. I think peak bulk I was like 212, maybe 215. Now I'm around I weighed 201 this morning, so down on 14 pounds from peak bulk. But the, the trick for me has just been taking it really slow and steady. Because if I cut really fast, it's just hard to like maintain that physique. So if I take it really slow and steady, it's a little more maintainable, I feel like. Alrighty, on to our next movement. For this one, we're going to be doing seated lateral raises. Lateral raises are always the highlight of my shoulder day, just because I like, it's one of the most important parts, especially for developing an aesthetic looking physique, because you want to get that width. Down slow, hold at the top. Ugh. I'll take it out of you. I've been like, I used to do them all standing up, but I switched to the seated because I feel like you can't cheat as much. You know, you can't give a little oomph into lifting it. You just kind of, you're stationary, just gotta lift it. But I think that's the first I've done 12 with a little bit heavier weight, so that feels nice. 
it feels good that I haven't really lost like much strength. If anything, I feel like my strength has kind of gone up in certain lifts for sure. All right, back to it. More of a partial in that that last one, but it works. Still blood to the muscle. If I got one more set of these, we'll move to the next one. The Pat McAfee show on right now. Oh yeah, they hardly ever have like good stuff on this year. What you guys know, I'm also sacrificing my music for you right now. So keep that in mind. I listen to like. Music is the peak of my workout, I feel like. But whenever I use my mics or anything, I can't listen to it because I got to plug it into my phone because I don't really have a good camera yet. But it's all good. I'm going off full mental power today. All right. That's definitely worth it. Lost the dumbbell. Cleanest reps, but it worked. Sometimes I try to just be able to get some heavier weight. The reps not, might not be as crisp as they would with lighter weight, but sometimes you gotta shock the muscle a little bit. Next exercise, we're gonna do some rear delt flies. My friend showed me these the other day. He actually said, take a little step back, get more tension. So we're gonna do that variation today. Nope. Too much weight. Just wait till I'm 250 lean. A little step back. Whew. I love those. I'm trying to think, do I superset this with some cable lateral raises? The answer is yes, we do. I feel like you guys are really close. All right. Sweet. Let's get you guys back to the middle. Get you lined up, right? You know, supersets are great. I love supersets. Get you pumped. I didn't even do supersets for the longest time. I don't really know why, but, you know, it's just one of those things you gradually learn what's better and better for you as time goes on. I forgot to adjust the weight again. So I got ADD or something, bro. You do get a nice pull when you take a little step back. Those are hitting. So you couldn't even squeeze out a full 10 that time. I think I ate. I used to never go less than like 10, 12 reps. Never. I just thought it was so dumb. But now I've been focusing on upping the weight a little bit and doing just a couple less reps just to see if it does anything. Because I mean, you gotta experiment to see what works best for you. So. And I felt like I was just playing it safe for a while, doing the same stuff. So I felt like it was time to switch it up. <sighs> Got that weight stuff on me. 
Let's go. I don't know if that last one counted or not, but that was tough. Scoot you back a little bit. There we go. Whew. Done with those. Done with those. I remember I'm like doing it and I have like 10 to 12 reps. I'm always like breaking it down into smaller things I realize. Like I'll get to six and I'm like, all right, I got three more. And then we nine and I'll be like, all right, three more. So I just kind of take the reps and break them down into smaller groups. So that way you're less likely to give up. You know what I mean? So like David Goggins, like just one more, one more. Cause if, you, if you just do one more continually, you're getting somewhere. All right, one more set of rears, then we're done with that. Not with the workout. That'd be some pussy shit. Let me tell you, I'm glad I got this new tripod, but it's not as good as my other. My old one was a lot better. Word. Uh. I like getting some parcels right at the end, especially if it's one of my last sets just because go to complete failure, might as well. My dad always taught me when I was growing up working out not to do partials, like it's not worth it, just do the full rep. But once I started working out, when I was a personal trainer for a little while, I definitely realized that you're just trying to pump his blood, pump as much blood into the muscles as possible. So it doesn't really matter. I mean, you still want to do full reps, but. You can do a couple of half reps in the end just to get some more blood. What do I do now? Got that, got that. Uh, I know what we're gonna do. I'm in the handy dandy box. I don't even know what these are called, but you know what I'm talking about. Basically, it's kind of like a, I don't even know what you wanna call it. Not a shrug, but kinda. Alright, I like to keep my hands, hold on, I'm straight. I like to keep my hands like pretty close together. I don't like to go wide. I feel like in here you're just kind of getting the best pull. Try not to take too long of a rest in between my sets, but just enough. Just enough where I can feel it just as much and not feel like I'm, my form's lacking. I want my form to be the best it can be. All right. I'm gonna up the weight. See what 115 is like. I'll do it. I like this a lot. I feel like you get them a lot in your side delt. It's almost like a mixture of a shrug and a, like a fly, I feel like. You know what I'm saying? Because you're shrugging it up with the way your arms are coming out. It's getting the side the same way it would with a fly. I don't know. Pretty cool. I started doing them a little bit more. I like them a lot. I typically don't do too many exercises. Like I feel like I'm typically stick with just a couple main things and I just try to hit them as hard as I can. I feel like that's what's been the best for me. You're done. 
Dang it, bro. I just got this set up to where it was going to look decent. All right, there we go. Now, we have graduated from shoulders to calves. Let me adjust this machine. Ah. All right. This loud. This is one of my favorite calf exercises I learned when I was a personal trainer at that gym in Ohio. So, for this one, it's like it's a little machine leg press. But what you do is you want to put your, like a, like a calf, like you're doing a calf raise. So, you put your foot up on it like that. But you push out and you don't want to lock your knees out. You still keep a little bend in your knees. And then, yeah, you just do a calf raise. But on here. So, there's constant tension the whole time. And... I don't know. I like it a lot. It feels good. So, so I realized a lot of the gym is, you know, it's just it's just preference. Whatever feels best and works best for you. What's up, homie? No, no, nah, you're good. Yep. <sighs> Fuck it. We're doing fifteen. <sighs> Three more. I don't know what it is with calves. I feel like, yeah, what's up, bro? <laughs> but no, I don't know what it is with calves. I feel like it takes a lot of reps for me to feel like a good burn. Maybe I just need to do more weight. I don't know, but it's kind of weird. <sighs> uh. <sighs> oh, all righty. I'm done with the first set of those. Probably three sets in total of these. And probably do either some standing or seated calf raises. Then we'll be done. And then we'll check the pump, see what it's looking like. Back at it. In the words of Gunna. You cooling? All right, bet. All right, you can do the standing calf raise machine. You can do the seated one. There's some people over there and I don't want to get in their way with my tripod and everything. So, ugh. start off with this. I like this machine. It's not too bad. I like that there's constant tension the whole time. So, that's nice. Saddled up. Ugh. Make sure your feet are even, and we raise. Come on. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> All done. That was better. Yeah, dropping the weight a little bit was good. I really don't get. I mean, like I used to be kind of the same way. Like, oh, gotta do lots of weight, but the weight really does not matter that much. Like, you can do a little weight and make it do a lot if you know how to move the weight. And I feel like that's just the most important part because, for me personally, like I said, I just want to look good. I don't really care about how much weight I'm moving. Not that moving heavy weight isn't nice. You feel pretty dope, but. It's not the main goal here. Let's go check this pump. All right, guys, finished with the workout. So check the pump ski. Always mandatory. If I can get out of it, damn. All right. There we go. Shoulders are definitely pumped. A little side tricep.
trying to get better at those quarter turns. Whew. All right, time to check the back. You guys ever realize you're just a straight dumbass? I was literally over here like tapping my bag and stuff, looking for my phone, realizing it's in front of my face recording. I hate when that happens. <laughs> but no, I'm pretty much done now. Got all of my lifting and everything done, so. I fresh out of the gym, headed back to the car. But let me tell you, right after the gym, the vibes are just perfect. Let me tell you. you got your good lifting, the sun is shining. You just know it's gonna be a good day. We are back at the house, as you can see. This is probably where the video is going to come to an end just because got the workout all done and I got to go edit this video up. But stay tuned because like I said, I'm going to try to pump out multiple videos a week of these workout sessions. And just let me know what you guys want to see more of. You want to see more workout videos. You guys want to see a little more just day in life stuff. But I love all of you. Appreciate all of you watching and have an amazing day.